Hello, hello everybody. Good evening and happy Wednesday. If you're watching on Wednesday and if you're watching another day, happy day to you. It is Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time and I'm Zara Premji. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Markham, Ontario, Canada and this is your weekly Facebook Live crafting show. For those that are joining for the first time, thank you so much for popping in and for joining us tonight. I hope that you enjoy your time here. I'll tell you a little bit about what my Wednesday Facebook Lives are all about. So I have been a paper crafter for eight years and um, I love designing projects and what I love even more is sharing them with others and possibly um, giving a little dose of inspiration or creativity. And so for those of you that are brand new to paper crafting. Um, I hope that you see something here that inspires you to want to try it out. And for those of you that are avid crafters and have been doing it for a while, hopefully this will give you some ideas for how you can use the products that you already have. So um, we love chatting and um, you will find out very quickly that I am a little bit of a chatterbox because especially in a pandemic, I don't have a whole lot of adult contact right now. I mean, I don't see a lot of adults to talk to them so I feel like you guys are like my people and I talk a lot and so um, you can tune me out if you feel like I talk too much um, so but when you are jumping on please do say hello and um, let me know where you're watching from I always love to know kind of where around the world people are joining from and um, say hello to each other I see friendships being formed on this these Facebook lives and uh, people saying hello to each other so I see some friends on hello Michelle Denise from Winnipeg. Hello, Heather, Janice. Um, thanks for joining, ladies. Thanks for joining, everybody. I'll tell you what we have in store today. So I have the Boho Indigo product medley. So for those of you that are familiar with Stampin' Up! and have been around for at least one catalog period, you will know that in this book here, we have the Boho, there's a product medley, which means that it is a curated set of products. There's paper, there's a stamp set, there's a bundle, there's coordinating ribbon, there are um, some cute little flower embellishments so it's kind of like a, a kit of products that have been put together and it is actually going to be retiring soon. And so I have not had enough time to play with this product medley. So I have chosen that for my projects tonight. The other thing that I am hoping to accomplish tonight is to show three different projects, one of which is super simple. So if you've never crafted before, um, I'm going to show you a project that you could do to make like simple, really cute note cards, birthday cards in less than three minutes. Um, and then I'm going to show you one that's a little bit more stepped up. So if you would consider yourself a casual stamper and you might have some ink and stamps at home, then this would be a really good project for you. And if you're like me and you have all the things, like if you look behind me, um, and you have all the things and you have a die cutting machine, then I also have a project that's a little bit more stepped up and um, we'll just show you kind of some different ways that you can use this medley. Now, one more thing I wanna share is there is a product medley which includes the stamps and the coordinating dies and then there is also a medley refill kit. And the refill kit, it just looks like this, okay? doesn't look all that exciting when you see it in this bag here. It has all of the paper products for the actual medley, but it doesn't include the stamp set or the bundle, okay? But this is on super duper sale right now, okay? So we have we have a last chance product sale, and this is normally $35, and right now it is on sale for $18.60, okay? And I checked the inventory status report. It's still available. So if nothing else, like you don't need the whole medley, um, or if you already have the medley and you just want to grab a refill kit, it's $18 dollars like 1860 it's super cheap okay let me stop for a second to find this on my computer so that I can continue to see comments and um, we can continue to chat as I'm crafting let me see who's joined hello Jenny hello Natalie hi Shannon hi Sue oh hello Victoria hi Beth Shams hey, it's a party here it's like a Wednesday night crafting party I'm so super excited I hope you guys are all doing well I don't have anything really like that new and exciting to share with you guys I've been pretty much um, 
yeah, doing the same old, same old. Um, and so why don't we just get straight to the crafting and we can continue chatting. Um, I have a couple of announcements to share with you and then we're going to get started with the crafting. Okay, please continue to say hello and comment. Look away for a second while I just adjust the camera and then um, I'll tell you when to look back. All right. Okay, you let me know if that's too high. I hope, I'm hoping you can see kind of everything, but if you feel like that's still too high up and you can't see um, what I'm doing properly, just comment and I'll adjust it. All right, um, hello, Michelle, hello, Rana. Okay, I got a little distracted because there are groceries coming into the basement and it's not quiet enough. Okay. What do I want to share with you? Okay, the first thing is, this is our current annual catalog, and this um, catalog is going to be ending on June, sorry, May the 3rd, okay? So we have some products in here that are clearing out and will not be returning, and um, some of them are on sale. So you can check my website and find out what products are on sale. Some of them are discounted up to, I think, 60 or 70% off. And um, so really good time to shop and stock up on crafting supplies. Today is the last day of my ordering special for March. So if you place an order with me that's $50 or more, you are going to get two tutorial bundles. This is what our next month's tutorial bundle looks like. I love it. It's the Flowering Cactus All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, and so I will actually be sending you this one unless you tell me otherwise, but I will actually be sending this one out if you place your order with me. Um, you get that anytime actually, even if you place it in April. But if you place your order in March, so at the end of today, you will also get two embellishments from me. So you will get the Gilded Gems as well as a retired full pack embellishment. So the value of that is over $20 plus the tutorials are like 40 something dollars. So you're getting $60 in free if you spend 50. So I think it's a good deal. Anyways, okay, let's talk about the Boho Indigo product medley. You will find that on page nine of our current annual catalog. And as I mentioned before, it's a coordinating set of products. So you get a stamp set, which is very appropriately named Boho Indigo. It's got a very awesome boho chic feel it has some really great sentiments in it too as well so it's got the birthday one and I always say that if you find a stamp set that has a birthday happy birthday sentiment in it it's gold because it's so versatile even if you just use that sentiment all the time it makes it really worth your while then there's one that says such happy news so really good for an engagement or someone that's um, expecting or someone that's getting married or that kind of thing sorry you're feeling blue and then thank you so I think having birthdays and thank yous and then being able to cover with a couple of other sentiments is super uh, makes something versatile and then we've got some dies here that coordinate so we've got some of these dies that will actually cut out the vases all right so I always love the coordination there so if you have a die cutting machine then these dies will be super useful for you and then you also get a pack of paper so designer series paper and I have um, I have cut into mine um, so you get six by six designer series paper and I think you get um, 48 sheets but what's also really cool about this pack is you get a bunch of different die cut pieces okay so you get these die cut elements and then you also have some embossed sheets so these are already pre-embossed you can see the texture on them um, so you actually don't really need to add much else to it and then you have these awesome paper patterns okay so I'm going to just show you the flip side I might not show you all of them because I want to really get started with the crafting but there are some cute patterns in here and then there are labels so all of this is also included in the refill kit okay so when you've got die cut labels that you can just stamp and go I just think that that makes everything so much more um, easy and quick to use okay so you get all of that and then you also get these cute little fabric flower embellishments which have which have these little wooden beads in them and we'll be using those tonight so you'll get to see them more close up okay so that's what's included in the medley and as I mentioned you can also get the refill kit which is right now on huge sale for $18.60 all right so I'm going to show you one more thing and then we will get started with the crafting so um one thing I want to show you and I can't open this up 
Um, this is our new annual catalog, okay? This is actually, um, demonstrators can pre-order from this beginning tomorrow, and then this will go live to the general public beginning May 4th. If you don't already have a demonstrator or are not a demonstrator and would like a copy of this catalog mailed to you, you can comment below, but I'll also update the description with a link where you can actually request a catalog and I would be happy to send one to you, okay? So this is something that demonstrators can pre-order from tomorrow, and if you are interested in actually ordering from it early, then our starter kit deal is definitely the best option where you can actually choose $165 in product and you pay only $135, no tax, no shipping. So it's a fantastic deal that comes with lots of great perks. So that, is um, that is our new catalog and I will not spend too much time on this although I will tell you that it is fantastic and there's lots of amazing new products and colors and oh it's just gorgeous so I'm super excited to order from that tomorrow hello Alana yes you finally caught me live all right I see you all please keep saying hello I will check in with the comments and let's get started with our crafting so the first card I'm going to show you is super duper simple okay like you you like almost can't get simpler than this and the way that i made this card was with our note cards and envelopes so this is really good for someone who needs a card on the go if you need to do something really quick or if you are brand new to stamping and you might not have a whole lot of the tools then the note cards and envelopes are perfect so these come in a package of 20 they are already pre-cut and scored and so i've just taken out a note card and an envelope okay I put my measurements here because I did cut some of the designer series paper, which we will do right now. So I'm just taking a sheet from this package of the designer series paper and I'm going to cut one sheet and I'm going to get both pieces that I need for this card. Okay, so I'm going to just take this piece here and I'm going to cut, I'm going to grab my trimmer. So you do probably want to have something to cut your paper with, obviously, if you're gonna be using this. Um, our paper trimmer is amazing. It has a cutting and a scoring blade, and it just, I can't cut straight with scissors, so this definitely helps me with that. And um, it also has a scoring blade, which is really awesome too. So the first cut that I'm gonna make is, I'm gonna cut at two and a half. So I'm just slicing that by four and three quarters. Okay, so I've got my first piece ready to go. And then my second piece is going to be one and a quarter. So one and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use the flip side of that piece. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab my note card and I'm gonna burnish that with my bone folder, which is hiding somewhere. Okay, luckily I have about six of these. So I'm just going to just kind of crease that score line a little bit better. And then I'm going to stick this down. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus or any glue tape runner will do or liquid glue would work. And I'm just going to stick this down onto my card. Okay, this is literally like a two minute card and you don't need very many supplies for it. So I'm just going to stick that down. And then just to add a little bit of interest, I'm just going to put this one here. So I'm just, again, using the other side of it. Adds a little bit of um, contrast and just a different pattern. And I'm just going to stick that down like so, okay? So then you want to pick out your little um, die cut pieces and I'm going to pick one that is large enough to hold that birthday sentiment. So I'm going to actually take this one out of here. These all come in the medley refill kit so you again don't need to do any die cutting or punching. And I'm going to use the same one again that says a bunch of birthday love because I feel like we cannot have enough um, enough birthday cards. Okay, so I'm just going to ink this up. Now, this stamp set is exclusive to the medley, so if you wanted to just get the refill kit, you can use any stamp set that you have. You don't have to use this particular one. I'm just using it because I have it. And it says, a bunch of birthday love to you. So I'm gonna stick that on here. Now, I wanna show you something. 
So when I did, actually, no, I, I think I'm still going to do the same thing with the ribbon. Again, the, the ribbon is included in the medley, but not in the refill kit. So if you do have the refill kit, you don't need to worry about this using this particular ribbon. You can use anything that you have. I'm just going to put a couple of strips of my tape and I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of weave this in a Z pattern. Okay. So I'm just going to go like that. And then I just kind of keep my finger there. And then same thing, put my finger like that. I'm going to just add a little bit more tape here so that it sticks. And then I'm going to just leave it like that. And then you just grab your scissors, snip off the ends. And then I'm just going to stick this on with dimensionals. Okay, so you can also use the dimensionals. So these are our foam pop-up stickers. You can also use the dimensionals to just secure the ribbon. And this is just going to add a little bit of lift because a little bit of lift never hurt anybody, right? Okay, so I'm just going to stick this down like that. Now, there's a tiny little you know, there's like a little tag opening here. And so I could have tied my bow and stuck it here, but what I'm going to do is use the little flowers, which, where did I put them? You guys know I lose things all the time. So where are these guys hiding? I'm sure I've hidden them behind my paper here. Nope, all right, hold on. I have some more flowers in my refill kit. Oh, here they are. <laughs> It never fails that I will always lose something during a Facebook Live. And then sometimes my dear friends that are watching will tell me where those things are. Okay, so yeah, ask Heather. That's I didn't want to call her out, but yeah, Heather usually is the one that will tell me, oh, by the way, that's under your trimmer. Okay, so I'm just tucking another little dimensional there. And then I'm going to stick this down like so, okay? So I just want to cover up that hole because I'm not putting any kind of ribbon or anything through it. So I just want to add a little detail here just to cover up that opening, that little tag opening. And because I just think these flowers are too cute not to use, okay? So then I'm just going to, hold on. I didn't mean to stick that through. Okay, so there's my little card. Isn't that adorable? I just think that these are so cute. I love the little note cards. They have a coordinating envelope, which you could stamp some of the flowers on here, or you could just put a strip of the designer series paper over the flap. And you've got a card that's done in two minutes with just a few supplies. So all I used with this was all of the paper products were from the refill kit. Um, I had note cards and envelopes, and then I just added some of the embellishments from the, from the medley, but you could just use whatever you want, okay? And then just add some stamps and ink, and away you go. So that is it. <laughs> Okay, I'm reading comments as I go, so if I start giggling and nothing really seems to look funny on the screen, it's probably because I've read one of your comments. So Heather was trying to explain to me that they're over to my right. We found them. Okay, so I told you I was going to do a super simple card. This is really, really simple, okay? Like basically stamps, ink, and paper. We shorten that to the acronym SIP. And so this is really like a sip card, okay? So I'm gonna move this aside and we're going to do one that's just a little bit stepped up. And so that's this one here. Now this would be a good card for somebody who has some supplies. So if you have a paper trimmer, if you have some cardstock um, and maybe a couple of punches, then this is definitely a good card for you. You don't need the die cutting machine at all for this. And I'm gonna show you how we make this card. And I'm gonna actually show you two of the punches that I've used because those are sadly retiring and um, I think this would be like your last chance to get them. So let me move that out of the way. And I will pull out the pieces that I need for it. So I've already got most of the pieces taken out and I'll start to assemble and then I will take out the little die cut leaves that I need. So I'm using a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock and this measures five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, and then I've scored it at four and a quarter. So this is just your standard card base. And then I've got two pieces of designer series paper. Again, I'm using the same sheet and I'm just using front and back. So let me stick these down so that I don't lose them. 
Not that that ever happens, right? Okay. So I'm just sticking this down. This piece of paper, this piece of um, pattern paper measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So it's a perfect square. And then this one here measures one and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm using the other side of that to add a little bit of contrast, okay? So that's going like that. And then what I've done is I've taken a piece of the um, embossed paper that you get in the medley, okay? So remember I was showing you that you actually get these sheets that are pre-embossed, so I did not run these through with an embossing folder. And so I'm just taking a piece that measures four and a quarter by three quarters of an inch, okay? So that's just gonna cover the seam between these two pieces of designer series paper or patterned paper as we like to call it. Hello, Cheryl. And so I'm just sticking that like that. This is a really, really easy layout to use. I'm, I'm a sucker for a good layout. And so this is a layout that's very easy to duplicate. So again, you can use it with these products, but you can also use it with anything else that you have. So I'm gonna use my two inch circle punch to punch out a piece of the very vanilla cardstock. And then I'm gonna use my two and a quarter inch circle punch. So these circle punches, I'm super sad to say are retiring. Um, I use them often. They're great for layering. And I think right now they're, I think they're each $24, but such a wise investment for crafting. Um, and so what I'm hoping to do is just layer like that. Okay, so one's a quarter of an inch larger than the other. And I'm gonna go in again with the same sentiment here that says a bunch of birthday love to you. Okay, so I'm just going to use the same ink and I'm just going to ink that up. Oh, I'm making you wanna make some cards. That's that's always a nice compliment. Well, I hope that this inspires you. I did say that at the beginning of my video that my hope is always to share some ideas and to inspire you to get out your stuff and craft. And hopefully that really simple card um, shows you that you can just you know, even if you take out five minutes of your day, you can make a really cute, simple card to send out to somebody. Okay, so hopefully that has inspired you a little bit. Okay, so what we just need to do next is add on some of the die cut leaves or, oh, they're just beautiful. Look at these leaves. They're just so stunning and they've got gold foil detail on them. And um, I love how easy they are to just punch out. I love when things are easy. So I'm just going to take this one and then maybe this one here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of, oops, my um, seal plus and just stick these behind like so, okay? All right, maybe, maybe I want that a little over. Hang on a second. We're just gonna move that over a smidge so that doesn't look like it's coming right out the top because that looks weird. Okay, and then I'm gonna add on some dimensionals. Hello, Beth. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy this is your first time watching. And yes, the colors are gorgeous. Anything with navy and white or navy and cream is just stunning. And you'll see in my third card that I've added in a little pop of color. And so um, this, what's nice about this is that you can add in little pops of pink or green or yellow, whatever your heart desires. And it just works so well with the palette. So that's pretty much it for the card. I'm just going to add on one of these little flowers. I'm gonna hold them up close to the camera so you can see. There are two different sizes and they're like fabric. So, um, I don't know, am I close to the camera at all? So they're like this, um, almost like a really thin felt, but they are definitely like a fabric material. They feel really cool. So I'm trying to think if I want the larger or the smaller, what do you guys think? I know there's a bit of a delay. I'm gonna have to wait for you guys to answer. Um, okay, larger or smaller? Hello, Lena. Let me get my blue dots ready so that whoever comments first, larger or smaller, that's the one I'm gonna do. I 
think there's like a seven or eight second delay. So if you've already commented, it's not showing up on my screen. All right, friends, I need a vote. Larger, okay, Heather. Heather says larger. Here we go. So I'm just gonna use my glue dot and okay why not both oh margaret says why not both what do you think let's see maybe we could do a larger and a smaller where did i put it okay let's do both and we'll see i am going to be putting three on the last card so i can't get enough of these flowers i love flowers i love anything floral oh that's pretty Hello, Colette. Thank you for joining us from Prince Edward Island. Larger. Okay, so I accommodated both because I did, you know, just to be diplomatic, we used both. So this is the card. And I hope that you found this as simple as I did to make it. Again, just a couple of punches, but everything else really just comes from the product medley or the refill kit. Um, and so there's so many elements in it that I didn't actually have to pull from my stash. The other thing I would suggest is to put an insert inside. So you obviously it's hard to write on dark blue cardstock. So you could just put a cream or very vanilla layer inside. You could stamp on it. You could put a strip of the designer series paper just to give it a coordinated, a coordinated look. And then if you are using the stamp set from the medley, then you can also add in where are my little flowers gone i had a stamp with these three little flowers here they are so i'll just show you because i love coordinating my envelope with my card so i'm just going to take these three little flowers and i will just ink that up and stamp it in the corner okay so super easy to do like just a few supplies needed and you've got this beautiful card that anybody would love to receive for their birthday don't you think all right so that's card number two so i did tell you we were going to be kind of increasing in level of difficulty so this one here is our number three and this one is a little bit more stepped up it's still a fairly simple card to do there are a couple of additional supplies used and some additional techniques so you'll see that i've introduced some um, just jade cardstock and then i've used some dies to create this scalloped rectangle and i did some heat embossing here so this is where you would want to have your stamp and cut and emboss machine um, but you'll still see that it's a fairly uh, simple card to recreate. I know it's so cute, right, Michelle? It's so the the flowering cactus product medley is the one that's in our January to June mini catalog. That might be my most favorite ever, just because I really love cacti. But I will tell you that the boho indigo has been my favorite up until now. I still love it. Actually, now that I'm using it again, I'm still really loving it. Um, all right, so let me tell you what we're doing here. So again, this is a little bit stepped up. And one of the other things that I've done with this card is I've added in a layer behind the pattern paper, okay? So I still have the same measurements for my pattern paper here as I did on the previous card. So the measurements are the same, but I'm just adding in a slightly larger layer. And then I'm going to put this down onto my cardstock here. And this is called Crumb Cake. So it's just a nice warm brown oh here we go just a warm light brown cardstock so I'm just going to stick this down and there's so many gorgeous patterns in this pack and so many pieces of paper like there are 48 different sheets of the designer series paper that the possibilities and combinations are endless Okay, so I'm going to stick that down here. Do you already have this medley? If you do, comment below. I want to hear if you already have this. Have you used it? Ooh. Okay. All right. So... 
going to stick that down there so you can see how the um, navy cardstock just creates a little bit of a border behind the designer series paper and i'm going to just stick this strip again to cover the seam and it's the same width as the card base so four and a quarter inches by half an inch okay so i'm just doing that little bit i don't like the seam showing um so i just wanted to cover that up and i just have a scrap piece of cardstock so this is the same embossed paper that you get in the medley or in the refill kit and i just ran that through my stamp and cut and emboss machine with a die that creates that scalloped stitched layer so before we put that together let's do some stamping and die cutting so i'm going to just stamp the vase here in crumb cake ink okay so i'm just going to ink this up you have it and you love it oh good i super duper love it um and i love that you can just whip up a bunch of like quick and easy note cards so that will will be um will make me more likely to use up all of the designer series paper in there Okay, so we're going to bring in the stamp and cut and emboss. Actually, maybe I'll bring in my mini. And I want to run through the leaves as well as the vase. Okay, so I'm going to try and do that in one pass. And we'll see if my little mini wants to cooperate with me. So I'm just going to take this out and... Hopefully you can see that. So I've got this down here. And I'm just going to lay that die on top there. I'm just going to grab my post-it tape just so that this doesn't move. So when I'm when I am die cutting a shape that I've stamped, I always find it helpful to put the post-it tape just so that it holds the die in place and then with these ones it doesn't really matter I'm actually just going to snip this so that I can fit it onto the same platform hello Sonia thank you for sharing I appreciate that <laughs> Janice you don't have it but now you think you might need it oh well if you yeah like I said the refill kit is is on sale so but the med, the full medley is gorgeous it's always nice when someone's inspired by what you create so okay so hold on sometimes these platforms need to be a little staggered in order to go through there we go so I'm just running these through and die cutting move that out of the way hello Maureen yes the medley is gorgeous okay so there we go so our vase is cut with just by putting it through with this die cut and then we've got our leaves here our little greenery pieces and I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to poke these little bits out sometimes they get stuck in the dies but as long as you have something sharp you can easily poke those out there we go okay so all of our die cutting is done and we can start to assemble the card you guys know I'm a messy crafter don't judge okay the one downfall to being a messy crafter, well, there are a few, um, is that I always lose things. So I have luckily located my dimensionals here. Okay, so I am just sticking down this rectangle. So I'm going to let that sit for a second and then I want to actually stick these um, greenery pieces directly to the vase. Okay, so that'll just make sure that I can place them properly and then I can um, stick the whole thing down onto my card. So I'm just going to use a little strip here and just set that down like so 
and then put the larger one behind. You want them to look like they're actually coming out of the top of the vase. Okay, so I think that's that. And then I'm just gonna stick these down with some dimensionals and I'm putting them right over the stems just to further reinforce and make sure that they stick down. All right, and we'll stick that down there. And then I did emboss, I did heat emboss my sentiment in advance. And so I'm just going to stick that down here, okay? So now because I've got dimensionals here and I've got dimensionals here, the only place that I want the dimensional now is right under here. And then this part I just want to stick right down onto my vase. So I'm going to just snip a little piece of my um, dimensional sheet here or you could use mini dimensionals. And, and just stick that right down next to the vase. Okay, um, what I should have done is probably added a little blue dot underneath this part here just so that it sits flat. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> oh, okay, so Margaret, I'll continue being messy if that makes you feel better. Yeah, I. you know what, I've just embraced it. The only time that it bothers me is when I, well, when I can't find things. And then also there, there get to be times where I have like, honestly, what feels like three or four inches of square inch space on my desk and it's very hard to work within that. So that's when it starts to bug me and that's kind of a sign that I need to stop and tidy. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've embraced it. I've seen lots of memes and quotes about messy desks being, you know, cr more, cr I don't know. It's like you said, the creative juices are flowing. Um, okay, so we've got that there. I'm babbling now. And I'm gonna use three flowers on this. Now, because I just wanna cover this area here, I'm gonna use the three, I'm gonna use three of the small ones. So I'm gonna take one, two, three, and I'm gonna use my liquid glue for this. Now with the liquid glue, because they're fabric, you've gotta just um, hold them down for a few seconds to make sure that they stick. Hold on one second. <laughs> Maybe I'm not using liquid glue. Of course this jams up right when I need to use it. Oh, there we go. Lots of it coming out now, okay. So I'm just gonna put a little dab here and a little dab here. I might have to add a little bit more later and I'm just going to stick one flower there, one here, and then the third one right there. Now I'm gonna give those a second to dry because they will fall right off if I move that too quickly. Um, but are you, are you not in love with these little flower embellishments? Like I wish that they sold these separately because I for sure would have bought, I don't know, four packs of them. Um, and then the last thing that's left to do with this card is to just embellish. Is this crooked? Hang on. So you can leave that card as is. I didn't use any of the ribbon on it because I wanted to add some metallic pearls. So you could, you could make this a little bit more zhuzhed up and, and use some ribbon or, you know, you can keep adding more and more elements to it. I'm just going to add some metallic pearls to this. I like the gold with the with the blue and the vanilla. Um, let me think. I feel like there's lots going on already on that die cut, so I'm gonna just put them off to the side. And then one more down here. Okay, let me clean up. You guys can have a look at that, and then I'll bring all the other cards back onto the screen. What a mess I've made here. And then, you know, you want to have a coordinated envelope. So I'm going to still stamp the envelope here. Did I stay on screen? I hope I stayed on screen. I know sometimes I work closer to my 
body and then I'm nowhere to be found on the screen. Hello, Deborah. Yes, the whole medley is incredible. It's so gorgeous. I love that you get all the products basically in just one little kit. Okay, so this was card number three. This is our fancy pants card. This is our card number two, which is, you know, more of a casual crafter, a little bit less involved. And then we have our card for a beginner stamper or someone who's just crafting on the go and just wants to make a bunch of quick little note cards. So this is it. I hope that you guys liked it. Like I said, if you're just joining, the Boho Indigo Medley is in our annual catalog. It is retiring. The refill kit is um, at a huge discount right now. I'm not sure how long that will last, but I really hope that these cards and projects have inspired you to either craft with the medley kit or with something else that you might have. And if you have any questions or other comments, please, please let me know and I would be more than happy to answer. I am gonna look through the comments to see um, if there are any questions. Oh, Michelle, are you going to get it? Oh, that's like the best compliment ever. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Janet. Hello, Janet. I'm so glad that you guys like them. I will post pictures of these. I will, um, I always, my hope is always to do a blog post and then I'm, that's something I'm working on. So I will try to do that and I'll share it to the page so that you can see the measurements and other details. Um, but I really wanna thank you guys for watching me. I hope you know how grateful I am that you guys spend your Wednesday evenings with me. And if you're watching for the first time, I hope that you've enjoyed this and that you will come back. And I will be back here Sunday morning. So I know that this is the Easter long weekend, but I will still plan to do my um, Sunday morning coffee in a card Facebook Live. So if you're having your coffee around 10 a.m. Eastern time, I would love for you to join me and we'll have another project for you. Have a great night, everybody, and a great rest of the week. And we will see you all soon. Bye for now.